What you guys now, if you live in the United States of America, you may have been infected with this new ransomware called United States Courts. It's a new ransomware that's doing around, so as you can see, it says your uh, computer's now been locked for violating law of the United States of America, and it says you've been violating it by doing things like downloading videos, music, and software, and other nasty material, as you can see here. Okay, but it is it's a scam, basically. They're trying to con you or lure you to pay for something that you don't need to pay for, okay? And they want the sum of $300 to release you from this ransom. And yet they've actually posted up your IP address, the, uh, the country you live in, and the city, and also your ISP. And they may have even took a snapshot of your face, which makes it even more scary for people. But don't pay for this, I'll show you how to remove it for free. So we're going to reboot into safe mode with command prompt. And if you don't know how to do that, the instructions should be on the screen right now. Okay, so we've now been tapping F8 on our keyboard and rebooted the system and we've now entered advanced boot options. We're going to be coming straight down to where it says safe mobile command prompt here. Let this load up, it does take a bit of time. Okay, so we're at the uh, safe mode with command prompt here and uh, there's a few different ways of removing this type of ransomware. If you want to know some other ways, you can watch some of my other videos on how to remove ransomware. But in this way, we're going to be using regedit and manually removing it. So we're going to go into uh, regedit here by typing regedit like so. So this is what you've got here now. We've got registry edit and uh, this is how we're going to remove it. We're going to go into H key current user and then from there we're going to go down to software then Microsoft Let's keep hitting the little plus signs and then we want to come down to where it says Windows NT pull that down there and then another one is current version hit that and then where it says win logon down here in current version you should see a file called shell okay and you can see it's pointing towards this uh, ransom here so we're going to get rid of this completely we don't need that file so delete that now we need to go into another location here we're just going to check the windows location here just to make sure that's okay just going to check the run area that's okay now we've done that we can type uh, exploring in it in inside here now to open up our desktop and then from there we can now remove it from the system so I'm just gonna get rid of that folder there I'm also gonna go to computer the C drive users and then the account that's infected now app data will be sort of a translucent uh, folder if you don't see it you need to show hidden files and folders by going to organize folder and search options then view and yours will look like this so you'll need to put the dot inside show hidden files folders and drives and then take the tick out of hide extensions and apply an OK. Then you'll see the app data folder. Go inside there and there's uh, three folders here. We want to go into roaming folder. Inside here you should see some files skype.dat and skype.ini. If you don't see these types of files uh, look for different types of files that are in here okay that will resemble this ransomware but they generally are this name this uh, type here. We're going to remove these going to go back into the local folder okay and then inside the temp folder here and there's a load of junk inside here okay now you will still see um, these types of files here as you can see these are all to do with that ransom they're just junk really we can remove these from the system by just highlighting all these by using the shift key and then deleting these click skip and leave that exactly like that 
Now once you've done that we can now reboot the system back to our normal desktop, okay? I'm going to restart. Just let Windows start up here. Okay, so now we're at the desktop. What we want to do here is run a scan with Malwarebytes. Now the link for this program will be in my video description so you can actually run a scan with this. Just to check to make sure there's nothing left on the system. Check for updates and then run a quick scan. Okay, that's the scan nearly finished. As you can see, we've got a clean bill of health. And uh, if you find yourself having loads more infections on the system, you may need to do some more extensive uh, scanning with other different types of programs. And you can check some of my other videos out on how to do that. But other than that, I think that one's done. And I really hope this helps you out and get rid of this uh, nasty ransomware. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with any more videos when I upload them. And I shall see you again in the next video. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.